Welcome to Hitman 3, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the trophy slash achievement called Treacherous Architecture. Now in order to unlock it, you need to complete three different challenges in Dubai. So this is going to take us two playthroughs, the first two challenges we can get done in one, but our third challenge we're going to have to do a separate playthrough. So the first one we're going to aim for is we're going to be doing the vertical approach challenge, which you need to push Marcus over an edge. So you want to start off in the map and then go all the way off to the left and just follow the path that I've been taking you. The guard that's on the left, we're going to go into the room, flip a coin in there so that we can distract him, take him out, and then we can get his outfit. Now I'll be back at certain parts in this video to explain more. All right, so now the next step is go around a corner into the security room, overhear the conversation that the two are having. The bodyguard is supposed to be here, but he's late. So we're gonna go to the location where he's at, steal his paperwork, and then go back to this location. No, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. Look, this is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my I won't pretend I never want to. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this hey. is security. How are Just you? calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay, so now that we're in the security office, we just need our target to show up. Then we're going to follow him outside. He's going to ask us to throw some knives at some targets. I'll be back once we get to that point. But that was a shitstorm. Okay, you must be my new escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Well, this all looks very promising. Yes, good. Oh, you worked for Darwood Rangan. 
Hope you weren't there on the day of his tragic death. Okay. This all looks very good. Okay. Walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? No. <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who can throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. I know. You cocky idiot. Okay, so now that you're done throwing the knives, our target's gonna walk over to the edge. Don't push him yet. Wait till he tells the guard to go away, and then he'll go back to the edge again, then we can push him over, and this will complete our first challenge. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Okay, so from where we were just at, we can move on to our second challenge, which is the Black Gold Eye Challenge. For this one, we're going to eliminate the other target, Carl, with an oil rig model in his office. So from here, just follow the path that I'm going to show you. There is going to be a guy that we can listen to his conversation. This guy is another hitman called the Vulture. We are going to take his disguise so that we can meet up with Carl. Now. For this guy, he's going to go over to the area to the left and smoke a cigarette. So we can distract him by either turning on the speakers or flipping another coin. But the goal here is to get his outfit and make sure you don't have any weapons on you because we need to go back to where he was talking to the lady and the two guards there are going to frisk you. So you got to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. So after you get past the guards, you're just going to talk to the lady that he was originally talking to and then I'll pick it back up once you're in the room with Carl. Greetings, sir. I just need to do a quick routine check if you want to get through. 
Just a quick pat down, sir. Nothing to worry about. Thank you, please proceed. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Hello, sir. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, so this part is just waiting for Carl. So I cut out a good chunk of the video because that's just, you know, we're just sitting here waiting for Carl. Uh, what he's gonna want you to do is he's gonna give you a picture of a guy downstairs that he wants you to eliminate. We're gonna find the guy, talk to him, and we're gonna bring him over to that spot where uh, we eliminated the vulture, but on the opposite side. Just knock him out, take a picture, head back to the assistant, and then we're gonna meet up with Carl again. Two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toad. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Hey, how you doing? Mr. Looked, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Something big must be going on since you're taking so many precautions. I'm curious though, how do you know my name? I haven't told anyone who I was. Uh, well, how do you know? A 
wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, whatever. Ah. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Mister. How are you today, sir? Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Kazim, please Hi there. follow me. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian desert. It's a sight to behold the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible because of all the smog. I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Okay, so we're about ready to eliminate our next target. At this point right here, this is where I recommend that you make a manual save just in case something goes wrong. But I have everything figured out so that we can do everything in stealth. So after we talk to Carl, he's going to tell everyone to get out of the room except for the one bodyguard on the right. So once everyone starts to head out, we're going to go into the other room on the left and we're going to flip a coin against the wall. The guy on the right is going to go investigate it and that's when you're going to sneak up behind him and knock him out. Then you're going to see Carl right in front of the oil rig model and all we have to do is hit the kill button and this will complete our black gold eye challenge. Afterwards I always like to hide the bodies and then once you leave the room one of the guards is going to escort you out and this is going to complete our first two challenges. We got them, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.
as Mr. Ingram left. Then please, Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me. Say, don't get sidetracked. All right, so now we're on our third and final challenge, which is the mile high drop challenge. For this one, we need to eliminate both targets while they are parachuting. So right now I'm gonna take you to the location to where you can find a crowbar so that we can unlock a shortcut. By unlocking this shortcut, we'll be able to complete this challenge in stealth. So I'll pick it back up in a little bit. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try.
judgment just looks like you you I guess I know why you want to Okay, so now we're going to pick up this crowbar, but we're going to make a slight detour on our way back and pick up a banana. So when we get to the shortcut, we can make a save there and unlock a different trophy that I already just posted another guide for. So we're just going to make a small detour, pick up the banana, and there'll be another banana that we can pick up later on. So I'll pick it back up in a little bit. I'm sure you all hold Looking your Looking very well here. Okay, so the penthouse guard that we just knocked out will get you practically anywhere in this map. Make sure you go back to that location where we knocked him out and pick up his gun because we're going to use that gun to shoot out the parachutes. Now, the next part is we're going to go into the security office, pick up the banana on the right, and loot the safe on the left to pick up the key card. Hello, sir. Just wondered if you got the briefing on the lockdown drill tomorrow. I got it. I'll get issued one tomorrow morning. You know how it works? Because I don't. I don't. But it's easy. Two of us are stationed up here and below by the card reader. We get an alert, we both swipe our cards, and bingo. Lockdown. Well, what if the other guard is using the bathroom? Well, it's timed. So if that should happen, I should be able to run down and activate the other swipe as well. But I guess that's all right, so the next part is we need to use the key card on that keypad right by those two guards. There is two keypads that we need to quickly swipe the key card in very fast. So once these guys move in a couple seconds, there they go. All right, so we're going to use a key card on this keypad, and then we're going to quickly run to the other one upstairs and then use it on the other one. If we do it fast enough, this is going to trigger an alarm, and then the two targets are going to put on their skydiving suits and jump off the edge and parachute their way out of here. But we're gonna shoot them while they're parachuting to complete the challenge. 
So I'll pick it back up once we get to the shortcut. The alarm. You need to act fast before those bastards evacuate. Head for the helipad. Okay, so if you remember earlier, we picked up two bananas. At this shortcut right here, you can make a manual save and unlock a different trophy slash achievement called Keep Your Eyes Peeled. This one right here requires you to drop a couple banana peels by the edge, and when they go to run off and you know parachute their way out of here, they're gonna slip on one of the bananas and accidentally they'll be assassinated. So that's one trophy slash achievement you can unlock. So I recommend making a manual save here if you didn't unlock that. If you already did, then we're just gonna go down the shortcut here, head out to the edge, wait for them to parachute off, and then shoot at their parachutes, which will complete the mile high drop challenge. Afterwards, we can just head back out the other way, and since all the guards are above us, you'll be able to get out unseen. This will complete all three challenges and unlock the trophy size achievement called Treacherous Architecture. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. And I will see you next time. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. We got him, 47. Seven. Soon there will be no more providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.